Well, I thought I'd just end today's uh, video here on a uh, some thoughts. So I get asked several times, I've been asked several times, what's it like living up on the mountain? Um, especially from a guy who grew up in the Midwest in flat lands and now I'm living in the Appalachians. So obviously, number one thing living in the mountains is trees. Lots and lots of trees. Oh my word, do I have trees? Um, if any of you watched my uh, one of my videos on the garden, uh, I flat said I cut like 13 trees out just to get the garden in. So yeah, lots of trees, lots of leaves, lots of leaves that then fall down. Leaves that fall down then have to be raked up or burned. And you've got to be very careful when you allow somebody else to help you out and burn leaves for you because it can catch your house on fire. Not that I'm speaking that that happened to anybody I know. <laughs> anyway, uh, the next big thing that we have a lot of up here is rocks. Oh my word, do I have a lot of rocks. I could build a stone house with all the rocks, which is the reason why I've switched to a raised bed garden this year and had a very successful garden in it. Uh, because I tried to grow in a rock garden for the last five years, first five years I lived here, and never to, could to grow anything there except little bitty miniature corn. Um, number three, number three, number three is animals. We have lots and lots of animals up here. Uh, I've got uh, eight and three quarter acres of land here, so um, lots of animals. I've got a main game trail down that way on the other side of the garden. Uh, I got another one down this way, and uh, we get deer, we get turkey, we get turkey all over the place out here, except when I'm hunting them, and then they disappear and come up behind me and and scare the hell out of me. So, um, we do have bobcat. Mom saw a bobcat one day, and bear. We have lots of black bear around here. Um, I've had black bear up on my deck. I will insert a picture here and show you the black bear. See, I had a black bear right up here on my deck. Um, he was a young bear, so he wasn't very big. But uh, <coughs> he was he was up here, had to chase me away, and now my deck has uh, electric fence around the bottom of it. So to keep the bear from my deck. Uh, there's, I'll tell you another thing, of course it's peaceful out here. I'm out in the country, can't even see a neighbor's house. Uh, that's not true. I can see the roof of one of my neighbor's houses. And uh, in the winter time when the leaves are off the trees, I can see lights from people's houses. Uh, but yeah, it's very peaceful. Very, very peaceful, very quiet. You hear uh, crickets, you hear the sounds of nature. And then that's just in the winter time you can hear a train way off in the distance and it's that lonesome sound of a train and it's it's actually very nice it's just a wonderful peaceful thing that is then all of a sudden surrounded by bang guns so everybody around here has guns everybody around here likes to target shoot everybody around here hunts so um yeah so it's very interesting some weekends especially in the summertime if there's people are having barbecues or family and friends over you can tell that they will have their guns out and they'll be target shooting and there'll be all sorts of gunshots around here uh, I'm no different I do the same thing so um, so it's peaceful and, and number number I think I'm on number five five stars at night and that's all I got to say about that oh my word I, I'm far enough away from any I'm in a very dark area here. If you look at the maps, the uh, light pollution maps, I'm in a very dark area for Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, it's it's amazing to sit out here at night and just look at the stars. Um, number six, Zix, is uh, liberties and freedoms. I'm out in the country. I don't have any HOAs. I can do what I want. We can burn trash out here. I can have huge parties out here. I've had barn parties. Um, obviously, I target shoot uh, with my son, myself, uh, my daughters. I have all, we got a little shooting range up here and we will target shoot, uh, teach them gun safety. Um, 
so there's a lot of liberties that come but there's also you're kind of on your own which takes me to another awesome thing and that is awesome neighbors I do have neighbors on the mountain uh, there's the l main lane that we that we share there's four families including mine that are on that main lane um, there's like 60 some acres between the four of us and uh, yeah there's there's four families and we kind of watch out for each other and then my neighbor that you can see the house he's not on our lane he's behind me uh, he's also he kind of watches out for everybody uh, he goes to church with mom at his mom's church and they're just good people as a matter of fact the neighbor who lives above me he's got a uh, bulldozer and he bulldozes the lane every winter when it snows and, and opens everybody's up so that people can get out and it, it's just wonderful having neighbors that you can count on um, if you need something you call them they're there we did have a house fire here a few years ago and I had two neighbors that said come stay with us if you need to come stay with us come stay with us so didn't need to in that case but uh, it was offered and uh, here just recently I had one neighbor that offered to we had family coming in when we had the septic that was backed up wasn't sure if it was gonna get the house fixed and functional again and she said bring them down let them stay we you stayed down here at our house while you're working on it and that's just the kind of neighbors you know don't even bat an eye um, great great people you know just you, you, but when you're out here you kind of have to watch out for each other and we do and you kind of see what's going on and kind of pay attention and just take care of one another um, there's a lot of fun out here that is number eight <laughs> Number eight on the list is fun. Fun, 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 fun. Fun, 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 fun. Of course, it's hillbilly fun. I mean, we don't have the kind of fun that you would find in New York City or in downtown Chicago. But we have hillbilly fun. And uh, I think that's more fun. So, anyway. Uh, number nine is my garden. I love to garden. I love to grow things. I love to save food and, and can food and, and freeze dry food and um, all sorts of stuff like that. I just, I love growing my own food. I love being in nature and being able to take care of myself and the family, uh, myself. So yeah, my garden is, I love having a garden and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So, I mean, it was a big garden to begin with when it was just in the ground. It just didn't grow anything. Now I'm adding his raised beds. So it takes a little longer because I have to build the beds and fill them. But, uh, yeah, so my garden is number nine on the list. And then number 10 on the list, um, of course, my family and friends. So mom's here. She lives with me now. Um, as some of you know, she has cancer. And she's fighting it, doing an outstanding job fighting it. And uh, my boy lives here with me now again. My two girls do not. They are on their own. Um, ben is back. So it's kind of nice having the family nearby. Uh, the girls come and visit as often as they can. They have their own lives. They both work full-time jobs. So they get by usually about once a month they, they come by. Uh, <clears throat> so, but yeah, having... My family around, and then I've got great friends in here. I was already talking about my neighbors. We got other friends in the neighborhood, in the area, and it's good to have family and friends. I do miss all my family back in Illinois. Uh, of course, they are welcome to come out and visit. And I have five bedrooms, guys. Come on, you can come and visit. So, yeah, come and visit anytime, and uh, we'll put you up, and I might put you to work, so be prepared for that. But uh, anyway, just uh, wanted to let you know what life is like on the mountain. So until we see again, until we speak again, oh my word, I really need to learn how to. You know, I was an English major and I took drama and was in theater and in speech and debate classes. And you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it at all because obviously I can't speak. So anyway... Until next time around, guys. Uh, see y'all. Bye. Oh, yeah. Just so that you don't think that I can remember everything that I'm saying to everybody. Is, uh, yeah. I have to keep notes on everything. Because, can you see that? Yeah. 
so see I had to take notes because obviously my mind is leaving me I'm old and forgetful so notes are great actually you can ask any of my employees they'll tell you that yeah if he doesn't write it down or you don't send it to him an email he won't remember it they're not lying see ya bye